Every month for nearly three years, the UN Security Council has been briefed on the deteriorating situation in Syria. This month, the UN humanitarian chief was not pulling any punches. He said the effects of the Russian and Syrian bombardment of Aleppo were horrific. He made it clear it was the deadlock council that needed to take action. I cannot help but be incandescent with rage. Month after month, worse and worse, and nothing is actually happening to stop the war, stop the suffering. This council has been charged with the responsibility for ending this horror. The buck stops with you. The council was then supposed to discuss Mr O'Brien's comments in private, but some members, including the Russian ambassador, asked to reply in public. Ambassador Cherkin, the current president of the council, said some of the comments by the UN official were dishonest. I'm forced to make this statement due to the type of statement Mr O'Brien has made. Mr O'Brien, if we needed to be preached to, we would go to a church. If we wanted to hear poetry, we'd go to a theater. And when UN leaders and members of the Secretariat come to the Security Council, what we expect is an objective assessment of what happened. That didn't really happen in your statement. The tone in this, the world's high court of diplomacy, had become unusually undiplomatic. The US ambassador was next on the attack. What is so remarkable and troubling about the presentation we've heard today is that what Russia really wants from the UN is credit. <laughs> Congratulations, Russia. You've stopped for a couple days from using incendiary weapons. Thank you for not using cluster bombs in civilian areas. Thank you for staying the hand of brutality. You don't get congratulations and get credit for not committing war crimes for a day or a week. A particularly stormy meeting of the Security Council with fresh pressure on Russia, but it's pressure that Ambassador Cherkin seems well prepared to confront. As he departed here, he said the attacks on his country were factually wrong. He said it was outrageous. James Bays, Al Jazeera, of the United Nations.